welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie if you're new and if you're not welcome back to another video. I just wanted to kind of start the vlog today. It's Friday December 23rd and tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then the next day is Christmas so I think I'm going to carry this vlog into the holidays obviously and I figured I'd start it this morning because we are snowed in. We're getting so much snow and there's a travel ban. It's super dangerous to travel outside today so we're just staying home but i have a ton that i need to do i've just been like cleaning up around the house i just made the bed and then hold on dash is at the door Why? come here and then i need to come here dash say hello say hello to the vlog say hello <laughs> anyways i need to wrap gifts today and then i think we're gonna do some baking later and yeah just watch christmas movies kind of get into the spirit before the holiday i also need to finish editing a vlog that i'm gonna upload so i'll do that but i wanted to show you guys this thing that i got on amazon and if my friends stephanie and nate are watching this video you guys are gonna be laughing because i got this paddle on amazon and it's a bed tucker you probably saw me using it on my bed but basically, you do so you know when you want to like make your bed look like a hotel bed? You know when it's like tucked really nicely in a hotel room and you don't understand how they do it? Well, I would do it with like my fingers and I'd break a nail. So I got this thing on Amazon. I'll link it in my storefront down below. And it's a bed tucker. It was like, I don't know, $10 maybe. And you go like this in the, cre the creases and like the crevices on the outside of the bed. And it makes the bed look like that. You guys can obviously see. So it's just funny because I've been using it and my friends were like, why don't you ever show that in the videos? I'm like, I don't know, is that like weird to show? But I don't know, maybe somebody would find it amusing because I love it. It's like the best thing ever. Okay, I'm gonna finish cleaning and then maybe make some lunch and wrap some gifts. I also got these socks that were from Aritzia. They're the TNA ones, I'm wearing them right now. So I'm gonna fold them and put them in the drawer. They are the best socks. I've been hearing so many people talk about them and they're, those are my favorite. The APL ones are my favorite and then the Gymshark ones are my favorite too. These ones I wear to work out a lot and the TNA ones I have on right now and they're so comfortable. And they're like the perfect length. They're ankle socks. I'll link them down below as well. Okay, look at the snow. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, he's doing this so Dash can go to the bathroom. Look at the door. Oh my gosh. Dash. It is an absolute whiteout. Matthew, ah! Matthew your feet. <laughs> Why don't you have socks on? I'm in. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta get the coat on Dash. Dash, we gotta put your coat on you. Alright, Dash. Who is outside? Okay, fruits. Alright, you ready to go out? Are you gonna put it? You don't even need to put a collar on him. You don't think I need Felicia? You could, but I don't know if it'll fit over this. He's not gonna go. Anywhere. Maybe put one over his neck. Go potty. Go potty, Dash. Go ahead. Do you think he needs Alicia? I don't know. Go you potty, buddy. Come on. Start climbing in the snow. Come on, Dash. Let's go potty. Come on, Dash. Come on. Dash, go potty. Come on. We have to go potty. Come on. He hates that. He hates that coat. It's too small on him. Go potty, buddy. Real quick, go to potty. Okay, go to potty. Go. Oh my god. Go to potty. Go to potty. Go potty. How was that? Was it so cold? Good boy. I just made cauliflower chicken tenders in the air fryer. Some barbecue sauce. And then some carrots. And we're watching a movie.
making a beef and broccoli stir fry right now and I wanted to show you guys the sauces I use. So I did the Primal Kitchen No Soy Teriyaki and then coconut aminos and then a little bit of soy sauce. So we kind of mix the three and I just have it in the wok with broccoli, carrots, the sauces and then some sesame seeds and then I'm cooking some rice too. made some muffins and cookies simple meals of course and we did the banana muffins with the enjoy life chocolate chips and then just the mini or just the regular chocolate chip cookies these are so so good and we're watching jingle all the way and i've got my little dessert and it's just so so good i'm in my baking era if you couldn't tell merry christmas eve does it <laughs> look like we're going anywhere today Look at this. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I mean, it's like absolutely insane. It's up to my hips. <laughs> it's and like we have to literally, <laughs> yeah, it's literally as tall as me, and we have to shovel. Well, Matthew. Has yeah, shoveled. we. That's a very, <laughs> very sure. loose word of it. Yes, we gotta put this back on, buddy. Here he goes. This. Look at my. Look at oh. that. Look at that. It's <laughs> over there. <laughs> You can't even, so it's up to the garage. I mean, this is absolutely insane. <laughs> Look at my wreath. Oh. <laughs> Look at the wreath. <laughs> oh, close the door. Dash, I don't think we're going anywhere today. <laughs> this sucks. It's Christmas Eve and oh. we are, couldn't be more snowed in. I guess put the Christmas tree on. So we're not sure what we're gonna do. We didn't lose power, luckily, but we must have gotten maybe like, I don't know, five, six feet of snow. And we just let Dash out. I'll post a picture here of what he looks like. <laughs> but it's absolutely crazy. It sucks, because we're supposed to go to my parents tonight for Christmas Eve, and then tomorrow's Christmas Day, and we have so many plans with like my family, Matthew's family, my grandma, his cousins, his aunts. Like, we just have all these plans and I don't know what's gonna happen. All the gyms are closed, all the grocery stores are closed, like literally everything is closed until Monday. So, we'll see what we're gonna do today in this house. We're thinking if the plows go out today and it's not as bad, maybe we can go later, but it's not looking good. Not looking good. <sighs>
brush sheets right now. I just cleaned all the bedding. I stripped the bed earlier and I'm gonna put my sheets on. But I honestly have just been like organizing, cleaning, decluttering all day today. It's so weird and like it makes me really sad because it's Christmas Eve, it's four o'clock. And like usually we'd be at my parents celebrating the holiday and then we'd be with Matthew's family. And it just like feels so weird that like I'm doing chores today. Hold on, Dash wants to be let in. Yeah, it just feels really weird that I'm like doing chores today. Like I feel like I should be celebrating the holiday, but I'm gonna go stir crazy if I just sit around. Like I'm just like not the type to just like sit around my house. I just can't do it. I mean, I like to relax, don't get me wrong, but I can't leave the house. We have tried to open like the blinds, but you can't see outside the windows because they're all covered with snow. Cause we've gotten like, probably at this point, I don't know, maybe eight to 10 feet of snow. Probably not 10. I'd say probably more so like eight. And it's just crazy, like a little depressing, but I am grateful that we have electricity and heat and we haven't lost power. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that we're like safe because I know some people that don't have power and don't have heat and, you know, don't have like the luxury of being in a warm home. So I'm trying to be grateful for that and look at the bright side and like make the most of it. It's just like, really bittersweet like we're like this is like the first holiday I've ever like not spent with my family so it just feels really weird like to be making my bed on Christmas Eve <laughs> like it's just weird so I'm hoping we will have the opportunity to leave tomorrow the problem is the plows haven't been out so we can't leave because no plows have been out no streets are plowed our apartment complex is crazy like I don't even think I could walk outside it'd be like up to here so we just can't leave. We're like literally the definition of slowed in. So maybe tomorrow, Christmas day, will be better because it's supposed to start snowing tomorrow morning. But I don't know. I honestly thought today we'd be able to go to my parents, but we definitely cannot because no plaza has been out. So it's just weird. It's just a weird day. So Matthew and I are gonna try to make the most of it tonight. We're gonna make dinner. We're gonna watch um, another Christmas movie. We're gonna play games, like we're gonna try to just make the most of it, just the two of us at home. And then we'll just kind of play it by ear, see how tomorrow is and go from there because tomorrow's actually Christmas day, obviously. But it's just weird, like I'm kind of sad because I just miss my family. And I've been like cleaning, clutter, decluttering and organizing all day. So odd, you guys, so odd. Hi, baby. Raging Christmas Eve over here. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Yes. Yeah, she just wants a ping pong ball. <laughs> That's all he wants for Christmas okay. is a ping pong ball. In Thanksgiving dinner Matthew's watching the football game and we're doing some broccolini or Thanksgiving oh my god Christmas Thanksgiving Eve dinner. dinner Thanksgiving dinner in December <laughs> Dash. making Christmas Eve dinner oh my god I'm going crazy so we've got some broccolini in there we've got some water boiling we're gonna do brown rice noodles so we're gonna do like a red sauce pasta with broccolini and chicken and for the pasta I think we'll do for the sauce, this tomato basil, or what do we have in there? Vegan bolognese or marinara. We'll either do marinara or tomato basil. Update. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, it's every- It has been like this for literally 48 hours. It's like every minute. Every oh my gosh. Dash. Like, what the heck? 
Okay, RIP to our grill. <laughs> It's so weird. RIP to the grill. Like, I can't even it's, wait, show the vlog how, yeah, how, like, wait, show them how um, tall it is. It's, it's literally up to his, like, I don't know. It's up to my waist. It's up, it's a little bit above your waist. This is ridiculous. Four and a half, five feet. I said earlier eight feet. No. Okay, it's like six feet. No, not six feet. Okay, <laughs> it's four feet. It's definitely five. Okay, it's five feet. This is ridiculous. Look at the poor door. Dash, we don't even have to put him on a harness. He just like goes out. There's nowhere. Dash, go potty. He's only got a lane. It's all right, he'll go quick. He, that's all right, babe. He'll go out really quick. Dash, go potty. Look, he has nowhere to go. So you don't even need to put a harness on him. Yeah, yeah. Literally nowhere to go. You literally can't go anywhere. Christmas everyone we got our toys in there for dash and our gifts here I'm watching <laughs> the <He's> best <laughs> oh my gosh <gasps> oh my gosh Dash! Oh my gosh bacon nutty tree whoa twitties Watch what you want? <laughs> And it's Christmas Day. It's like, I don't know, maybe 7 38, and I'm just closing up on the couch right now. We currently have a plow in front of our house, you can see. And Matthew's outside right now shoveling, and he's actually been thinking, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think, I think somebody just got hurt. Oh my God, I'll be right back. I just went outside and I was asking Matthew what was going on and he said that our neighbors have a bursted pipe. So I just had to call my landlord. It's 8.30 on Christmas day. It's like, what is happening? Those poor people, Matthew's inside of their house right now. Hold on one sec. I called them but she didn't answer. For everybody? Okay, I'll, I texted her. Oh my gosh. 
So I just had to call, text my landlord and tell them that the pipe had bursted at the neighbors. But, oh my God, what a day, you guys. Oh my God, hold on. Update, I just talked to the landlord. She's gonna turn off the water. This is absolutely inc insane. These poor people, their house is literally flooding. I'm watching people come in and out. I can see water. This girl is walking over the mound of snow and it is literally taller than the garage. Like that gives you an idea as to how tall the snow is. In front of our house right now, they've been plowing, been putting it in front of our house and there must be literally 10 feet of snow, Matthew just said. Like we didn't get 10 in feet of snow, but there must be 10 feet in front of our house because all of the snow has been put up there. This is just insane. Like, oh my God. I just pray for everybody in Buffalo right now. Did they turn it off? Thank God. This is just horrible. I haven't even gone into detail like what even actually is happening in Buffalo, but we've gotten so much snow, people are stranded. It is horrible. I feel grateful that we're inside, but I wish I could help more people. I just can't even believe this is Christmas Day. Like, I keep on trying to be positive and reminding myself that I am grateful that I have power, I have electricity, I have heat and I have some food in the freezer. Like I'm trying to just be positive and be thankful and grateful for that. But it's just like one thing after another. Like I haven't seen my family all day. We haven't seen Matthew's family. We've just been alone in this house. And again, like I'm thankful I have him. I'm thankful I have Dash and a roof over my head. But it's just like not the Christmas I ever thought we would have. And it also doesn't feel right to like celebrate Christmas today because of like what's happening to our city what's happening to people around us, what's happening to like loved ones. Like my grandma's been without heat, electricity, and power for like 48 hours. And it just makes me so sad. Like she's all alone. And people have been going to check on her because my aunt lives across the street, but like her house is only 40 degrees. Like she's an elderly woman, it's just so sad. And it just doesn't even feel right like to celebrate or acknowledge the holiday today because like so many people are suffering because of this. <sighs> I've heard about people that have literally passed away in their cars because they have like froze to death or they've been trapped and they couldn't get out. We were just watching the news. It's just crazy. <laughs> and Dash won't stop barking. <sighs> So, um, yeah, just being real, honest, how I've been feeling. We've been trying to keep positive and, like, trying to make today, trying to make most of, like, what we have here, but it just doesn't feel right at all to, like, celebrate today. And <sighs> with what's going on, it's just really chaotic and sad. And, oh, my God, he just put all this snow in front of our window. And that's all for me tonight. <laughs> I bet you they probably came back. The door was open. They must have left their heater off, I guess. And then, I don't know. They literally left the house with their door open. I mean, I'm sure they probably didn't mean to, but they probably didn't bed door. They definitely didn't bed that door. That is insane. And there was snow all in their house. I mean, can you imagine it's been storming I mean, been been a, it's been a blizzard for a solid 48 hours. Like they've there must have been snow for, everywhere. They've been gone for one full week. But when they got home, how did they get into their house? They climbed over the mountain in the middle. You see it in there? You can see it. It's like a pathway that's like over a little mountain. They climbed over that. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Come on, Diash. Come on. All right, Matthew's doing the backyard again. This is ridiculous. It's like a mountain. This is our grill, RIP. I don't know where it is under there. <laughs> there. Take its head off. <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> There's the grill. Look at that stench. <laughs> Holy shit. The sewage pipe break? Right? It smells so bad. Out. Like a hundred dumps. <laughs> Guys, it smells like someone took a thousand dumps out of it. So bad. Pure crap. 